Hello everyone, this is Crytek Tech here. So Samsung Desk has been around for many years now. And if you have a Samsung phone, it comes with every flagship Galaxy device from Galaxy Note 9 onwards. And it was a bit laggy since it was launched with it. But so many years have passed and Samsung has refined the Desk functionality quite a bit with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And this has solved the app crashes and the lag that came with the previous version. I think Samsung Desk can easily replace my desktop experience for general productivity and day-to-day -day chores. You can truly multitask on Samsung Desk. I am using the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus for this test and if you have a newer device, the Desk functionality will run more smoothly and lag-free. Samsung Desk can be connected with three different methods, either wirelessly or by connecting an HDMI to the monitor or connecting your phone directly to the PC with a Type-C cable. Best feature being the wireless. The phone changes to the touchpad as the touch controller or if you have a mouse and keyboard, you can connect it to the Samsung Note. Basically, if you are connecting this to the PC, you can use the mouse and keyboard that is connected to the laptop or your Mac and use this as a primary input. As you can do basically three tasks at once where you can operate the phone, use Samsung Desk for gaming or any other work and use your Mac or PC individually. If your PC or Mac doesn't support wireless desk, you need to have a Samsung smart monitor or a smart TV. You can connect the phone with either a Type-C cable, which can connect to the monitor, which will be even better for the latency. You can use an HDMI to Type-C and connect the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and controller for gaming. If all of the connection is successful, then the phone will ask for setup. Then you can start the DeX. Let me remind you that Samsung Desk only supports 1080p at the time. Now, mainly this is good if you want to do basic tasks and if you don't have a PC and want to do all the work on your phone. This is totally possible with Samsung Desk. You can see all the shortcuts and the notification tray is on the right side corner of the screen. It can open multiple tabs at a time and it can handle it with no problem. Samsung Desk can almost do most of the stuff that I can do on my Mac Mini except video editing. But light photo editing is possible on the desk as you can see, I am clearly editing the photos on here. But mind you, this is a phone app and not a full blown desktop app. Gaming performance on desk is just amazing. And with the controller connected, you can basically play every game that is available on the Play Store. Even light video editing is possible on this if you are doing TikTok. Now coming to the wireless connectivity and wireless gaming, you can see there is a few frame drops or lag going on here and there, but it is not totally unusable. And if you don't mind a slight delay, you can easily get your work done wirelessly as well. Finally coming to the disappointing side, Samsung Desk is finally ending support for Mac OS since 2022. So we aren't going to get any updates since the Jan of 2022, which sucks as this was one of the best way to use the Desk with MacBook and Mac Mini. Well, if you are using Samsung Desk, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.